Did you know that some ticks hide in trees and fall down on the host when it passes underneath? I'm Bob Kelly Kendrick, I'm a parasitologist, and I'm your host for this third episode of What's Biting My Dog. Ticks are external parasites that feed on the blood of mammals, birds, occasionally reptiles. They're important vectors of several diseases. The best known is Lyme disease. And as well as falling down from trees onto a host, ticks are often found in long grass where they wait until a host passes by. Now they can't fly and they can't jump, so they need this physical contact to attach to a host. Dogs are an obvious target because they often run around in tall grass. Once on the host, the tick anchors itself to the skin using a harpoon-like structure in its mouth. Its mouth consists of several hooks angled backwards, making it difficult to remove once these have penetrated the skin. The tick feeds on the blood of the host and will fall off when full, which is usually after a few days. A tick can lay up to more than 2,000 eggs, thus ensuring the survival of the species. There are some 900 species of ticks, but the most common ones are Ixodes ricinus, also known as the sheep tick, Ripicepalus sanguineus, also known as the brown dog tick, and Dermacenta reticulatus, the marsh tick or ornate cow tick. The geographical distribution of the last species seems to be increasing. Ticks may transmit certain diseases, of which babesiosis and Lyme disease are the most well known. Babesiosis is caused by a microscopic blood parasite and the disease can look a bit like malaria. In dogs, Babesiosis can be diagnosed and treated by your veterinarian. Lyme disease is an infectious disease caused by bacteria that are transmitted by ticks and a dog will show fever and often have a characteristic skin rash around the bite of the tick. These clinical signs can be cured if treated early but a delayed treatment may cause later manifestations of the disease which are often difficult to treat. Most tick-borne diseases affect not only dogs but also humans. Caution is advised during the tick season in general from March until September. Check your dog often for the presence of ticks especially after a walk in the forest and if a tick is discovered try to remove it for example using a special tick removal device available from your veterinarian or pet shop. If you do not feel confident to do this yourself, or if you're not able to remove the tick, seek help from your veterinarian. Prevent ticks from biting your dog by using a specially developed anti-parasitic product like a Delta Bethlehem impregnated collar or a spot on. But read the instructions carefully before using these products. Do you want to know if it's necessary to put Scalibor on a dog that's already got Leishmaniasis? We're going to talk about that and many more interesting things in the next episode of What's Biting My Dog. <laughs>